Konnichiwa Watashi want to show you other stuff. I'm gonna show you a small tour of basically my house that I'm building here in the village my village farm basically and then I'll show you my home base which has a lot of features on it so <clears throat> oh no. So here we are at the turf floor, it's not finished yet. I need to go back in the end nether for a few stuff. Let's get some more of these blocks and i am making a pool right here as well. So this is just the first part of the art the turf floor, basically. Why is he on fire? No, this is the second floor. I have a pretty intricate design in it. Pretty good. And if you you are asking, yes, I have not finished this game yet. I'm like semi done. I've explored the Wooden Mansion. I explored two Russian monuments and jungle. Hidden jungles and stuff like that. Jungle temple and desert temple. Basic stuff like that. So this is the next floor. This is the second floor and it has a different design to it. Now the stairs up like this. I had to make this house like something that I really enjoy staying in. I would decide what I want. There's just so much space I have, including a few stuff that I will show you guys in the future. But like if I want to show you guys in this video, it's gonna be very difficult to do that. This is the bottom floor. It has a nice little house here to it. These are gonna be moved. I just have them here as reference because I'm gonna be setting up this walkway with a special kind of tile so that it has separation between both. And time comes. This is a map. For a map. I want to spread it out all the way to here, all the way across each of the cases. And here it the room is basically there for end already. It's gonna be a room for chess with the name of the specific category that it's in food, trading, construction, maps, tools and essential. And when I go to my next house you're gonna see all other stuff that I have planned in terms of name. Now I'm a bit low on resources, that is because I was doing a very long travel to the to a very special place I guess. And that I'll show you guys another video. There's not much more I have here. All I just have basic literatures. I let them room free. There are some things that bug me, like I created this guy. That guy right there, but he decided to run in here, and I have, uh, I think, three of these skeleton horses, which is pretty nice. So I, I'm gonna look at that in a future day, but I'm just focus on a lot of other stuff, I guess. We are going to go to my other home now. Basically, show you guys everything. What the? Basically, show you guys everything. Well, and there's another door like this all the way down there and I have an underground pathway that leads straight to our other village and I had to do that because I ended up doing something by mistake and I'll tell you the story when I'm traveling to the next place. <coughs> now I accidentally started a village raid when because the villagers always keep my cartographer because they don't want me to get the woodland mansion map so I can attack the woodland mansion and I decided to after I end up getting into a fight with one of them I decided to wait it out I didn't know that if I wait it out I'm gonna lose all the villagers so I had to make every single villager from scratch 
by going to another village, creating a straight path, and then putting it in the boat, and then sending that boat all the way down to here, which was a very long. <coughs> that was a long. In night, because it looks so much better in night, because it has lights that light up on those. It's floating rocks I'm gonna add. It's pretty nice. But is that that's just it. So that village has been through a lot, I guess. I made this so I don't have to use a map at all. And it's the quickest and easiest way for me to go to the village and back to my normal spawn because I built something really nice at my spawn, and you guys will see any moment now once we get there. Almost there. Alright, you can see a tree, so you're gonna see it pop up a little bit. There it is. It is pretty good. Can we come here? Nope. We're gonna stop from the top top as always. I put that banner up there because I wanted to make use of the when Minecraft on Windows file have the option that you can you know use the banners as markers. Now up here I have my little podium and the book. That book I normally used to keep like if I had ideas of things I need to do in the game then I'll just write this down on a list. Like for example see collect five stacks of all of your kind of ice with silk touch diamond pickaxe like stuff like that. I'll write here and some important stuff that I need, need to remember. So that's basically what I use this for. This kind of design is pretty nice. I love this design, but I sh should have waited a little bit. Could have carried up higher, could have called it Tower of Babel and bring all the way up to the sky. But you know what? This is okay for me for now. I am no issues with it. You know? I guess I'm gonna show you something really cool. Second floor, or first floor, ground floor, I have my farming and my cooking. So this is like stuff that I will use for cooking, and this is like stuff I will use for farming. And my farm is basically um, right there, if I can, right there. It's pretty nice. And I have a horse right there too. This, I stole it, but after a while I could make it. And I use this for making potions, you know. Down here is nothing much, I guess. Just a crafting the crafting box. So that anything that I will use that is crafting related. This is random. This stuff I just fling in there. And I have one more. I have tools. So this is basically any to extra tools that I have that I, that I need. Like on this right here, my friend, is my enchanting table. And I set this up so cozy and so nice. It's pretty nice. I haven't used it in a while. I need to use it to do some stuff, I guess. This is my in grindstone, just in case I need to use it. Cutter. I really haven't used that much at all. This is a nice layer to it. If I could have put like water on top of this. It would be so cool, but you know, that's a design for probably a next build or something. We're gonna go down a little bit, and we're gonna go into this tunnel. And this tunnel is not special, it's just me and my nether fortress, <coughs> my nether portal. And how should I say this? I, I, This part, I have to go like so far to finally find um, 
some new type of nether biome because I explored a lot in nether for obvious reasons and not one and so I had to go like really far in order to explore new biomes and stuff like that. I know I can reset it but like why reset it when you have a infinite almost infinite amount of place to play on explore the map you know don't just stay one place and say that yeah I'm gonna stay that one place we're going down this I hardly use anymore but I want to use this in order to keep things a little surprise for you guys so you can see what exactly I have down here this is like similar to one of the builds I made in my other world before it got messed up which I can't achieve stuff on it because of certain conditions no. avoid that a little bit that's a little incident with TNT I was doing an experiment There, don't worry. There, we're door. A nice little step. And we have these guys. Well, normally I could breed underwater using these, but I have apparently a lot of. I forgot what his name is. So long I haven't played. But I have a lot of these. I have like three of them. And I like I use them for underwater stuff, so it's so much easier, I guess. This I like because, and the reason I was inspired to do this is pretty simple. Abra cadabra. The reason why I was inspired to do this is because like. One of my friends. Whoa! Shit! 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 shit. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <sighs> I cannot have him blow up this. Ever since the new update, mobs have been spawning more in places I don't want them to be spawning. Like here, we have a lot of fucking valuables. How do you even spawn in here? I need to keep this side on then. That doesn't even want to go. You see what light I'm talking about when I finish. So here's all the good stuff. Here's my superior items. I have a lot of things. One of these. Better skeleton skulls. I have enders. This is not really important. Total of 9. I have 4. These I keep. I like these kind of blocks. Another one of these. Heart of the Sea. That is currently being me. Oh, Conduit. Conduit. That's why I can't remember it. And I still have one more left. I have obsidian, that's not like something to worry about. And I have a conduit that I'm not using yet. <laughs> this is a lot of nice things I have in here. A lot of unique things, I guess. I'm gonna turn on this way up here first. Because this is. I guess here is pawning a lot of 
monsters. What happened here is just. Let me go back to. It keeps the page. What's up? Book of potions. And what I'm just gonna have is like this room, and I'll have the potion bottle. The put um a little bit of. I can't remember his name, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have it right here. And I'm just gonna make portions after portions. I'm gonna keep this light on because I don't want anything to spawn right now. Because ever since the update, things are spawning way too frequently. Construction is just construction stuff. Portions, as you say, portions. And I keep these in here for when I'm curing zombie villagers. Enchanted weapons. I have a lot. I used to have a lot of gold. Yeah. I have the gold. I said corrected. But gold tend to break up faster, and I need gold for the Nether. So it's gonna get, bro. But I have a lot of. I have a lot of enchanted stuff, really. Which is really cool. I haven't gotten it there yet. Um, uh, la, 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 la. I haven't gotten the new ore yet because I have to travel so far to get to get new spawnings. Here's my ender. Um, all of my enchanted books, stuff like that, things that I'm gonna need in the future for specific items. Here is my food. I'm running out of these because I've been in a lot of adventures recently. Iron. I'm running short on that as well. So I need to restock on that. Gold. You see, I, I took out a lot of gold because I'm going to be in the nether a lot. And diamonds, not so much. Apostolazi. And that's um, So the reason why I keep these stuff down here is because. This is the I'm gonna make like finish the cobblestone achievement with the tree. Now the reason why I made this is because I had all my friends come over on my game and like stole one of my what was it? My diamond um my bow and arrow that had this on it. I think there is it. You add Menden. No, not Menden. Um, Infinity. Uh, Infinity, and I freaking stole it. Just the worst. And I need that Infinity. I'm gonna need it for when I'm gonna fight the Ender Dragon and stuff like that. Now, this is the cool part. And this is where I end this part of the video. Now, I have two options here. I'm gonna go up. And if I want to go down, right, really cool, fast, efficient, enjoyable. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took a long while. It was really kind of difficult to explain everything um, going on through everything. It's quite a big house, big building, and that this is not even half of the stuff that I have done so far. I'll be showing you guys some more cool stuff next time. And see you guys next time. See, I have a lot of random stuff because I'm preparing. I'm preparing to go and move into the Woodland Mansion. That I conquered full time so I can do some resource farming to get all the new materials and to get a lot of IF Ender to find the end portal and go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon and get new armor and stuff like that to fight the Ender Dragon. So I guess it's gonna be quite difficult. Bye-bye.